three canceled flights, an overnight layover, another layover, and 50 hours later. Guess who's back? Hi, it's Shan here and welcome back to my channel. Some of you may know I was in China for the last five months. It was the most challenging five months of my life. What I shared on social media is not what the day-to-day -day was like. The reason I was in China was because my dad passed away earlier this year and that is all the detail I will share. But I did have to go back, do the quarantine, do a lot of paperwork. I felt like I had hit the darkest part of my like existence felt like i was drowning and i know how to swim i was a lifeguard but i couldn't pull myself out two days ago or one and a half days ago at night i finally landed in pearson excuse the plane flying in the background it's really cool to watch the planes from trillium park if you're ever in toronto come here it felt so good to finally land in Pearson, achieve internet freedom again. I could use WhatsApp and YouTube and all of that without VPN. Messaging my boyfriend and my mom who had come to pick me up from the airport after I got out of the super organized system that is baggage claim in Pearson. It felt so good to see them waiting for me at the arrival gate. They brought me like fruits and like this pineapple bun that I'm gonna eat in a second for breakfast. It just felt so good and I was super jet lagged. I hadn't slept for I think three or four days. I would sleep for like an hour or two at the airport and then I'd wake up in a panic like thinking maybe someone took something of mine. Yesterday I got back and I just unpacked everything from my suitcase. I also decluttered my closet at the same time. I have something really fun planned for tomorrow. I booked myself my, ooh, there's a bug. I booked myself my first ever golf club fitting. This is gonna be super fun. I'm gonna dedicate a full video to my club fitting experience and if I get new clubs, I'll obviously share those with you guys. But in this video, it's gonna be a little sneak peek of that and also just everything else that I am doing to kind of reset my life. It is really hot in Toronto. It was 46 degrees in Chongqing, but then I come back and it's also like close to 40 degrees in Toronto. I've never seen this before. My mom was joking that I brought the heat. I mean, sure. <laughs> No, I would prefer it to be like 25 degrees max. There's red bean inside. Here I am at the Centennial Park driving range just doing some stretches before I start practicing. This is very important. And then also to start off, I like to practice with my wedges and doing three quarters half swings before I enter into full swings. I think it's very important to get the feel of impact with the ball on a shorter, more controlled swing before moving on to doing full swings. That's just me. Also, it was so windy this day and the wind was against us, so it was really hard to tell judge distances, but still a good practice to at least, you know, swing the clubs. Let's take a closer look at my swing, shall we, just for fun. What I've been working on is to keep my head still throughout the backswing and downswing. What I used to do is I would lift up and back a little so I would shift back and forth rather than turn on a center axis. So that's what I've been working on. It's getting a little better, but I'm still moving my head a little bit, you can see in the video.
Mm. That's good. Yeah. The spread had basil and what is it? Olive oil inside already. And then we had Montreal smoked meat, pastrami, Havarti cheese, tomato, and then mufaletta, which is this thing. It's delicious. Good morning. It is about 8 a.m. the next day and I've woken up pretty much on normal time. I woke up at 6 a.m. today. Getting back into the Toronto time zone, my brain is thinking less that I'm in China and getting over the jet lag. I'm just going for a little walk this morning. I don't feel up to like running in the mornings yet, which I will do eventually. There is something that a lot of elderly in China do, which is that every morning they go to the park and then they do like a little stretching, some light activities. And then every single day without fail, after dinner, they will go out for a walk for an hour or two. And I think that's just like a really good habit to form that every single day, without a doubt, you go for a walk for an hour or two. And I think in the long run, that will be very good for me to get my steps in and also just for my overall well-being, health. And then I have my golf fitting today, so we'll see how that goes. Let's go for a walk. I absolutely love walking along harbor front. It's my favorite part of Toronto. I love the parks, the parkettes. The gardeners need a raise because these flowers are gorgeous in the summer. And also the boats parked is just amazing and peaceful. And it really feels like you're in a big city, but also not super stressed out and crowded. This is why I love Toronto. Good afternoon! I just arrived at peak performance for my club fitting, so let's just head in and see how it goes. Just got back from my, spoiler alert, PXG club fitting. It was a two hour session. I got fitted for all of my clubs from driver to putter and it was just an amazing experience. The fitter Brent is super professional. He's done thousands of these fittings so my swing was no surprise to him. Again, I am making a dedicated video to the entire process all two hours, every single club kind of category that I got fitted for. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna give you guys the details, including the price and what I ended up getting fitted for. In the meantime, I'm gonna go have a shower because I was just stuck in traffic for an hour and five minutes. The drive was supposed to be half an hour, but it took longer than that, obviously. It's Toronto and it's close to 5 p.m. Good morning, it's the weekend, it's Saturday morning. I've been sleeping a little bit better. I think I'm almost back on schedule with jet lag. It's just that in the evenings and mornings I feel a little bit drowsy, but during the day I feel okay. We're pretty much back. It does take me a couple of days just because it is like a perfect day and night, 12 hour time difference. I just made some breakfast, gonna eat this and then get ready. I'm gonna get outside and show you guys a little bit more of Toronto because I kind of just want to walk around and feel the city again in the summer. This is the best time to be in Toronto. Also, after my fitting, I feel a little bit sore like all over my body, like my legs, my back, this like golf elbow action going on here. So that's something to prepare for if you are going to get a full bag fitting. You do have to hit your driver woods, irons, wedges, like you have to hit all of your clubs and it's a two hour session. Yeah, the last two days going to the range and then going to the fitting, I'm feeling a little bit, you know, but I'm still gonna get outside and walk around because, you know, low intensity recovery is the best way. I'll see you outside. Having myself a little main character moment here. I'm just walking to Chinatown. If you live in Toronto, you can probably tell that I live on the West End. I'm just walking to Chinatown right now to meet my mom for lunch. And then I'm gonna head over to AGO, the Art Gallery of Ontario. I love going there. It's kind of really just peaceful and you can look at art. And also, if you're like me and under 25, it is absolutely free. You do have to go online and kind of like purchase the annual pass. Um, it's just a zero dollar transaction. Yeah. 
Here I am waiting for my mom who took the subway. Yes, Toronto does have public transit, and yes, it is always under construction or out of service on the weekends, so just plan for that on your route downtown. For lunch, we went to the Sky Dragon restaurant at Dundas and Spadina in Chinatown. It's on the top floor. It is my favorite dim sum restaurant because the restaurant is super open and spacious, and you have a really good view of the city, the CN Tower, and of course, the food is pretty good too. The AGO had some really interesting new exhibits this year featuring works from Canadian artists of different backgrounds, which I love, including Caribbean, Asian, European, First Nations, and of course the classics that are always on display from Group of Seven and French Canadian abstract artists. I highly recommend spending a few hours walking around, especially if you're under 25, it's free, and for everyone else it is $25 Canadian, but I think it's totally worth it to visit, especially right now in the summer when they have a lot of different exhibits going on. Just got home, I am going to end the video here. I'm super excited to be back in Toronto. As you guys saw earlier, my upcoming video will be about my PXG fitting, and then there's gonna be more videos on golf and travel, and I'm just, just so excited to be back and to be posting more often on YouTube. So yeah, stay tuned to that. If you're not subscribed already, consider subscribing down below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Put on these cool sunglasses I got in China they fold up into like a little compact case. Anyways, 